Today, I'd like to discuss with my viewers a very interesting artificial intelligence case uh, related to animal care and uh, agricultural industry as a whole. So, uh, we are beginning with. Uh, tasks and goals we should accomplish in order to build our system and uh, what our client wanted is to have a system which is giving an ability to collect sensitive data and have a minimum time of reaction in terms of preventing particular negative effects of uh, Cattle's life, and so on. So, so uh, there are different questions we have created answers to, but most, like generally speaking, uh, it was object tracking uh, and uh, activity analytics. So, for example, an image here, you can see the system has detected uh, cows eating and not eating. And because we know uh, we detect and track each cow, then we can uh, calculate overall time uh, of cow eating or resting and so on. And those, those, uh, analytical traces could lead to take a decision or take a suggestion whether that animal are healthy or not healthy or what's happening with uh, their digestion system and so on so uh, also it's very important to count them to make sure they didn't leave it didn't go somewhere uh, so and, and again, because we know them literally by names, so we keep counting them in real time. So that's also very helpful, and it, it's uh, helping to keep an eye on like some underfed animals, uh, which also could lead to like less milk uh, production and so on. Uh, for such animals, uh, owner would provide different facilities or thinking how to, I don't know, isolate them, anything like that. And uh, all, all, for all of that, everything we needed to be done is just to install a set of cameras uh, across a site and just connect them to a particular data center. Uh, it could be on site, by the way, or in the cloud, depends on cost and uh, uh, needs. But for this particular client, because that client had plenty of farms, uh, everything was assembled on a single data point, and that led to massive amounts of data collected and also a massive analytical uh, potential. So Another thing is, it's it, it, the object identif identification because uh, we have to know which ones were and uh, when they are uh, spending time. I mean, when the animals are spending time on a free range, they behave very differently. For example, some of them are very active, others are not, and some of them are resting more. I also it also uh, can detect aggressive behavior or for example if an animal is getting into a fertile stage uh, that also quickly could be uh, detected for that this particular client has a set of cameras on a high post but also uh, from time to time drawn with camera was flying over the, the flock and uh, filming them filming the filming their behavior and their uh, 
other uh, factors that, that uh, also it helps to predict what kind of uh, brass cover is uh, um, damaged because sometimes you don't have time to do that but now uh, automatic system could just like tell you straight away in real time and then you can add some I don't know, fertilizers and so on so that information was also very valuable uh, because the amount of land where cows were walking was like quite massive and it was uh, time consuming to check uh, personally all the time every piece of it uh, another important feature is uh it, it became possible to watch them while they uh been within the range of where they allowed to be and when some of them were crossing uh range border uh the signal was generated in the first place and in second uh most active trespassers were detected and if their behavior was like happening over and over again particular actions supposed to be taken or something like that uh, as I've stated before uh, their behavior was carefully watched and analyzed and some traits of their behavior were uh, were uh, pointed out uh, what led to uh, making label for a particular animal making sure like we understand what is up to so uh, this is also very helpful uh, and there are a few algorithms which could help us to just uh, uh, create an activity map or pathway map and then once we've got those uh, traits we put in a model and the model can tell us straight away what kind of stage of life of the animal Especially it's useful when an animal is getting sick on the early stages and it becoming slow in motions and like legs active, it's very hard to detect. But the machine can spot it straight away, like literally in a few hours of the particular problem to begin. So uh, that's another part of things. And that could be done from cameras, from drones or posts as well. Mostly post because post is stationary and that video stream is like from the beginning of the day to um, I real time is very helpful now workers on the farm they've got a mobile app and it's instantly uh, signaling them uh, to where uh, look First things first, like so. What happens? Well, first, we've got an input, right? So there, is, there are a set of cameras. There are uh, some cameras uh, placed there and there. The information now is uh, getting uh, get uh, getting collected into the stream, uh, and uh, it. It, 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 firstly, it's getting saved somewhere for uh, further analytics. Uh, also, uh, for this particular client, when we place everything on cloud, the way you used Kinesis to analyze frame by frame, and every, each frame it was, were, you know, was giving us uh, particular labels and particular information, and also we used LSTM models to LSTM frameworks to track the behavior from the beginning of the day to the, for example, current point. And that, that also was very helpful. And then uh, once uh, an information was analyzed and processed, then uh, a particular output was uh, generated. And that output was directly sent on farmers' on mobile devices. I mean, uh, staff on the farm, uh, they're getting messages signaling them about particular things are happening. The animal is sick, the animal is underfed, or the animal is very aggressive and so on and so forth, or animal is trespassing. And they, they don't have to think how to react, that they just go where they have to and do what they have to. So, that on, so what happened? 
uh, firstly it helped to do various tasks right, and get very different information uh, uh, yeah that's that's the activity thing we have discussed just before uh, so on the top of that all the data is like video data and activity data is getting assembled with different uh, different uh, sources of information because uh, there are some uh, remote detectors for uh, animal temperature uh, also uh, there is a uh, there, is, there, is, uh, there are sensors, uh, chemical sensors, which are checking what kind of uh, milk quality uh, is there any is there any other um, the trait of sickness or something in the milk itself? In a, uh, a system is checking heart rate and so on. So all different uh, traits of the animal. Is getting checked in real time with different sensors. What's giving uh, uh, the, the customer an information uh, and helping them to make sure that uh, all animals are healthy. They are not damaging each other. They um, they are as happy as they possibly could be on that particular farm. Uh, so. On the farm itself, uh, as, as I have stated before, the, the different video cameras are placed, including uh, UV uh, night vision video cameras. Uh, different sensors are placed, like temperature sensors, you know, chemical sensors, uh, and so on. Uh, all that is uh, assembled on the server where uh, few models are spinning as well and those models are providing information to the uh, to the customer and their staff so indeed it's helping raise profits because like obviously if your staff uh, is well organized and knows what to do they don't waste time uh, for unnecessary checks for unnecessary operations like to go somewhere and check whether animals there or not or to the, to watch them carefully are they aggressive or not because now robot is doing it system is telling you straight away uh, what kind of actions to take and this is leading to putting particular positions and handling uh, the responsibilities to the computer where the computer doesn't want to sleep doesn't want to eat doesn't want to be distracted by anything it's constantly like spot on and watching carefully uh because this decision the time between decision and uh, implementation shrunk this also brought significant cost improvement uh as security became better as well uh, because any anom anomaly is detected straight away. Also, also, uh, for this particular system, it's possible to detect staff members and check what they are doing, what kind of ways uh, their behavior and so on. So, uh, under classes. However, this system also couldn't be called simple. It requires particular preparation job, like models supposed to be trained first, data supposed to be labeled, uh, all those um, animal activities are supposed to be uh, defined beforehand. However, the we set it up, we set up a pipeline the way it's teaching itself, so it's self-learning system. And if something is wrong, there is a possibility for the staff or the customer to mark. Uh, particular decision, uh, the particular decisions of the machine that they were wrong, and the system is taking that into account straight away and correcting itself. That's helpful. Uh, yeah, and 
that's 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 probably that's probably it so so the analytical information helped a lot of in uh, understanding uh, what's going on and helped to raise profits and cut costs so I hope those ideas were interesting to you so please stay tuned Thank you.